Wow. Whoa, that doesn't look right. That does not look right. Hold up. <laughs> what is going on, everyone? This is Geo, aka Mr. Happy Go Lucky. Nice to meet you. <laughs> welcome back to the channel, and if you're new here, welcome. It is the month of love. We have, we are here. We have made it. I don't know what it is about my Dracula review, you guys, but a lot of you are hating it. I don't know what's happening. Like there are a lot of people who probably dislike my comments about both. Keanu Reeves and Anthony Hopkins it's you know what to each their own honestly I know people expect to be liked expect to be liked for what they're what they're interested in but that's just not me and if you feel triggered my bad just you know if you don't like the video don't even bother like watching it you know what I mean I'm just I'm just I'm sorry I have to rant because this is a moment where I realize that yeah not everything I'm gonna put out is gonna make people happy and you know what I'm okay with that I'm really okay with that but just don't don't make of something big out of nothing you know what I mean so like if you really just didn't like what I was saying in my video just hop off don't even like don't even dislike it don't even bother commenting you know what I mean this is where I'm getting at <laughs> We need to show more love, spread more love into this world because there's so much hate in this world at the moment and we need to stop pushing for that. We need to start putting more love out into the world. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really passionate about this. Speaking of passion, <laughs> today's movie, you guys, we are going to be watching Sleepless in Seattle from 1993. Now, this movie is the quintessential Valentine's Day movie. From what I've seen, I've heard that it just like gives everyone the the love the feeling of being loved or loving someone from afar and that's the point of this movie i think it stars both tom hanks meg ryan who can get it oh my gosh meg ryan is like the nicole kidman of america so yeah um i'm really excited about this i hope you guys are too if you are interested in sticking around with this channel go and hit that um subscribe button it would mean the world to me at least consider subscribing because we know consent is an important thing these days <laughs> let's get on into it we got my classic drink i knew we had to do something look at this perfection look at this gorgeousness you know what i mean venti cold brew with Irish cream, a splash of oat milk. I know it sounds a lot sweeter than it sounds, but it's not. I just, I, this is my jam. I Anything that has cold brew in it, Irish cream, it's my jam. Let's get it. Woo! I'm ready. <laughs> Let's do it. Chicago. <sighs> Damn it. Mommy got sick. What a way to start a romantic comedy, I guess. No, this is more of a romance, right? What a gorgeous view of Chicago. Do you know how to make juice? There's my man's Tom Hanks. He's looking good. Parents without partners, partners without parents. Hug yourself. Hug a friend. Hug a shrink. Or work. Work hard. Work will save you. Work is the only thing that will see you through this. Don't mind getting just a guy who lost his wife. That is... Mm. Oh, they want to see the Chicago Cubs a lot. I was thinking about Seattle. Eventually, in a few months, you'll start seeing... He's wearing the Wrigley Field sweat... J wow, I can't even talk. Sweatshirt. The fundamental things of that... Jimmy Durante, when he used to sing, did he always used to go like that? Like, like that, right? Wow, that was a horrible impression of that man. I'm sorry. R.I.P. my guy. <laughs> Three people wrote this movie? The tall one with red hair. Oh, Bill Pullman. We saw him last in Casper. Brother Dennis is Professor Johns Hopkins. Funny, he said Johns Hopkins. Isn't that where his character in Casper graduated from? And why are they driving in two separate cars? Am I what they had in mind? Oh, Walter, they're gonna love you. Are they? Are they really? Walter and I are engaged. <laughs> I mean, yay, but also you could tell it's very underwhelming. It would have been a lot more uproarious if it was like a big deal, like if they really love this guy. They would respect him a little bit more, but I, uh, I got a little lukewarm from that. 
This is a very important moment for me. He's allergic to everything. Don't worry about it. Uh. <laughs> Grandmother's dress. Oh, honey. Oh. oh, it was grandma's dress. <laughs> this whole time, day. last time I remember watching it, I remember thinking it was her wedding dress. But if it's grandma's wedding dress, that's that's a freaking legacy. Oh, honey. <laughs> uh oh. It's a sign. You don't believe in sign. Well, that is a big sign. Not a good one either. Horses, 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 horses. You sound younger than our usual callers. How old are you? I'm eight. Eight? How come you're up so late? It's not that late in Seattle. Oh, of course. You're absolutely right. Yeah, duh. Don't you know the time difference? Where's your mom? She died. Oh, I'm so oh. sorry. On the spot, you had to say it, huh? They just got the most gorgeous house. And of course they had to have the most gorgeous looking house on the water. Like, come on. How fortunate can you get? Dr. Marsha Fieldstone of Network America and you are on the air. You called the radio station? Sam. Sam. Sam, are you with me? Yeah. Jonah's yes. just looking out for you, my guy. You should be grateful. I don't mean to be rude. Oh, and I don't want to invade your privacy. Oh, sure, sure you, you do. do. Whoa. Go on, Sam. I'm Already finishing each other's sentences? That's a really big thing right there. And, uh, Jonah and I... I love the way they're just approaching each other. Tough this, this time of year. I mean, any oh. kid needs a mother. Could it be that you... I think he's really getting to her now. I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but being a Bay Area kid, I respect Tom Hanks with the utmost respect. Oh, the rainbow. Oh, I love this cover. Birds fly over the rainbow. I, oh, I can't. I. Did y'all see that boat? That boat was, that little sailboat was beautiful. Phone service in the greater Chicago area. Was Rosie part of two O'Donnell. Hours received when there were those cows that got zapped by stray voltage, no one knows why. And maybe it was Wisconsin. But anyway. Damn. Talk. Let's talk more about the cows. <laughs> two five year olds at their grandfather's birthday party. They're making the album oh, with all the glow. That kills me. <laughs> There's so many of those sappy commercials these days. Baltimore is gorgeous. Look at that church. Something's Look at you. that. No, what is that? The freaking Washington Monument? I'm madly in love with Walter. He did the craziest mm. thing the other night. What was that? <laughs> oh, it's so funny. We were hysterical. What was that? What was it? Good talk. <laughs> that woman looks like she's dressed in aluminum behind her. So Damn some, damn some. Okay, he's 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 got it. Okay, one of my biggest goals in life is to have a house like Tom Hanks on the water, not in Seattle per se, but at least by the water. That's like that's like the dream for me. Oh, and Mom's sitting right beside him on his bed. Oh, that's so sweet. Just Howard. Oh, Howard. I do have a teddy bear. And I don't sleep with it anymore, but I do have a teddy bear. Someday I'll bring him out. <laughs> Can I have half your beer? So I dream the oh, there she is. Here's looking at you. Here's mud in your eye. <laughs> Did she just quote Casablanca? <laughs> I'd be devastated. I mean, no matter what, who, whoever I'm married to, I'd be devastated if she left me so soon. No. Well, how did Grace? Mm, did that's family? Margaret. That's oh, Margaret see, don't from don't the Adams family. My... I don't know, fam. I don't. I don't think. Sh I don't think he's looking for an older woman per se. I think he's looking for somebody who's around his age, perhaps. Maybe not someone who's a client. <laughs> is the guy there Rob Reiner? I think this guy is Rob Reiner. Does it work for hiccups? For hiccups, take a spoonful of sugar and hold it in your mouth for a minute. Really? No way. I'm gonna do that next time I have hiccups. Your sleep was in Seattle. 
You are the most attractive man I ever laid ears on. Wait, wait, you wait. don't know what he looks wait, like. Do you know where Oklahoma is? Somewhere in the middle. I'm not even gonna. <laughs> Accurate. If you get a new wife, I'll guess you have sex with her, huh? Boy, if you don't. <laughs> Movies, women are always scratching up the men's back and screaming and stuff when they're having sex. How do you know? What kind of movies are you watching, my child? The whole point is to w let him watch PG movies. Then again, back in the day, PG movies were like borderline PG-13 R-rated stuff. Let me get you. Jesus, God, <laughs> he looks like he's smothering him. If you watch that out of context. My guy, he needs a humidifier. He needs his pills, his medications. I don't know. I mean, Walter's a good guy, but he's... He's a lot. He's a lot to take in. These these songs are giving me chills. Or it's probably this. I don't know what it is. But the music, the soundtrack, and this is just spot on. Very great. Very great song choices. Peeping her eye on that radio. She's peeping her eye on that radio. She wants to hear him again. She wants to hear him again. You got it. You got it. Yeah. 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 There you go. Oh, it was a million tiny little things, and when you added them all up... She's already crying. She's already crying. Wow, she's really into it. She's really into him. And she's engaged. <laughs> wow, she almost hit that Honda Civic. You guys saw that? When you're attracted to someone, it just means that your subconscious is attracted to their subconscious. Subconsciously. He has not got a romantic bone in his body. He needs to figure his life out. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dennis. I feel so much better just having blown this off. I don't think she should have told him all that. He looks like someone who's going to gossip to the entire family about her secondary decisions with Walter. Tom Hanks being best friends with Rob Reiner is a mood. That's how you know you've made it if you become best friends with a director in a movie. Not bad. That's really? best friend goals right there. <laughs> the good news is you split the check. I could do that. I could do that. If we can split the check, we'll be in a good spot. I've learned that if you go on a date, it's nice and courteous to pay the bill, but it's even sexier and cooler if you could both split the bill. Just a heads up. <laughs> How would I, how would I do that? What do you mean, how do you do it? You call her up, you say, come on, let's get together, we'll look at swatches. That's not how it works, man. I don't even think Sam will do that. Come and look at my swatches. <laughs> That's me in a nutshell, honestly. I did, I did commission sales. Hi, Dad, this is Jessica. <laughs> H&G. H&G? Oh, absolutely not. No. Don't even close the door. Absolutely not. I don't care if you're eight years old. You guys are not that innocent, clearly. Don't tell me he's going to take advice from his friend. Don't tell me he's taking advice from Rob Reiner. He is, isn't he? He's like, okay, my kid could get a girl. Not in the sack, but my kid could get a girl in the house. Maybe I can, too. I'm back in the saddle again. <laughs> and what an ironic song choice. Friday would be great, yeah, yeah. Uh, how, I, I hear that's a good place. Uh, She's already chosen the location? Uh, 7.30 would be would, would be fine, and... She's already I'll, chosen uh, the I'll, time? I'll meet you there, okay, alright. And she's already chosen um, to meet so him there Friday, instead of picking her, having him pick her up. That escalated from zero to a hundred real quick. They knew it was right, it was real, it was a movie. That's your problem. You guys are in a movie right now. On the top of the Empire State Building. Oh, yes, that's perfect. Sunset, Valentine's Day. Day. Uh, I'll be in New York with Walter. I can squeeze it in. Uh, I'll be in New York with Walter. Yeah. <laughs> the warm memories. <laughs> We've already missed the spring. <laughs> Men never get the spook. That would be like, um, how women feel about Titanic these days. It's okay. I'm here. Oh no, he's having a nightmare. It's alright. It's okay. Oh, there's water coming in all the windows. Oh, damn. You know what? That makes a lot of sense, because you are on the water, so that sounds terrifying. I'm starting to forget her. 
Oh, dude. Oh, that's sad. She could peel an apple in one long curly strip. <laughs> uh. <laughs> that's rough. I mean, it's not rough. That's brilliantly written. Speaking of Annie, who can peel a whole apple in one turn. This I'm living for this. I'm living for this moment. He's on the what what right side of his bench and she's on the left side of the bench. Spot on. They're they're legitimate for each other. We're not in right now, but you can leave. Baldwin. She got right to their phone? I mean Kinda creepy, but I see where she's going with this. June 10th? That's a day before my birthday. That's unfortunate when someone dies in the summer. Usually people die in fall and winter. She is scheming. She is doing the creepy- she's doing the most. She's doing the creepiest stuff, but she's doing it because she really is in love with this guy and she doesn't even know him like that. I look alright? I look stupid. I look stupid. No, you look like great, fam. You look, you look stunning, my guy. This is a good letter, Dad. Look, the heels on the is it Annie's? Are grotesque. I look like I'm trying to. I thought she didn't call. send it. Her name is Annie. Annie Reed. Now I'm late. Yeah, you got it. Read yes. This. Read this. What? Annie Reed from Baltimore wants to meet us at the top of the Empire State Building on Valentine's Day. Oh. Oh, is that? Yep, that's the detective. And let me guess, you must be Jonah. <laughs> oh no, not the laugh. Oh, that is so Jonah's funny. not having it. So Jonah wants <laughs> him to talk to Annie. Do you like camping? I went camping once. Once. You know what, Dad? We gotta start camping more. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. <laughs> not him trying to get into the laughter. Not the humidifier. <laughs> oh! Oh, she went! <laughs> Sorry about that. That... That's painful as hell. You've got me listening to this garbage. Go, turn it on. <laughs> you got me listening to this garbage. You're the one who insisted that she sent the letter, right? <laughs> Not the sneaky music. You hear this in, like, every romantic comedy. Anything. True. That is lips. true. She's a hoe. My dad's been captured by a hoe. What am I going to do? Miss Scarlet in the broom closet with the radio. Uh, I mean, nice save, Annie, but that's still pretty sus for you to even say all that in the first place. Walter should have seen the red flags. That guy in the background looks like Freddy Krueger. <laughs> You'd probably have to go or at least that little really statue looking. looks like Freddy Krueger. She's actually going to Seattle. She's actually going to Seattle. <laughs> Bye, Jonah. Bye. I'm not marrying her. Can, can you appreciate the difference? Yeah, but this is what even he knows who's right. There's no such thing as a Annie. perfect... It's Annie! Oh, that conversation ended on the perfect. He said perfect, and she walked out. She says you knew Annie in another life. Who's Annie? The one who wrote us. The one in front of That's you. That's because the reason I know this and you don't is because I'm younger and pure, so I'm more in touch with cosmic forces. There you go. She got a whole rental car and everything. Like a wink and a smile. smile. I love the song. She actually went to their house. Oh, but they're not in the house. They went on their little boat. Their little dinghy. <laughs> I'm surprised Tom Hanks didn't notice the red car following them from the other end of the pond. <laughs> Aw, they really are out there playing. Closed from Labor Day to Memorial Day. Damn, that's a long time! Woo! Like a wink and a smile. <laughs> then they go back on their little dinghy boat. 
It's so nice how cheerful the music is in this moment. Hey, she she looks ready to meet them, that's for sure. Oh no. No, wait, that's not Victoria. Oh, that's his sister! Oh no! Now she thinks this is Victoria. No! <laughs> Damn it. Oh shit. Move, Annie, move! Hello. So then what happened? So then I left, obviously. He said hello. He said hello, and what did you say? All I could say was hello. Oh my god. All I could say was hello. <laughs> it's a sign. <laughs> Everything's a sign in this movie. It's unfortunate that his sister looks exactly like the girl he's dating. That is very strange, actually. <laughs> Carrie Grant and Deborah Carr. Is it Kerr? Kerr, I think. Kerr. Very much Kerr. I forget why, but oh. Damn, oh, she... So the movie's weird. not even playing in front of her, and she's already <laughs> emotional. Her shriveled little legs. <laughs> Jonah's like, Are you oh. alright? No, my, my auntie is not okay, fam. <laughs> Do you want a window seat or an aisle? Window. <laughs> Do you want a food plate? I don't know. Do I? I'd die why'd you ask? I'm telling them <laughs> why does Becky look like a stewardess on a plane? <laughs> they really do finish each other's sentences. Don't hate me, but I love this pattern. You couldn't. I do. This is just like my grandmother's china. How many place settings should I put down? Ten. Ten. They're still finishing each other's sentences. It's a sign. That's a bomb ass ring. Walter went for it. Surprises are highly overrated. I'm leaving for um, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean it was it was she was very accepting of the ring, but there was something passive aggressive about it. I said take it to the hospital so you can be a breakthrough. I think we see where Jonah gets his savageness from. <laughs> Annie. Annie. You know what I'm doing this weekend? I'm getting laid. <laughs> How long have you been standing there? Forever. Yeah. What did you hear me just say? Six girls in college, maybe seven. Yeah. <laughs> Eight. Mary Kelly. Not him correcting himself in front of his son. Didn't you see Fatal Attraction? You wouldn't let me. Well, I saw it, mm -hmm. and it scared the shit out of me. It scared the shit out of every man in America. <laughs> Am I going to have to watch Fatal Attraction on the channel? <laughs> Look at that house. I think this is the first time looking at it on a bright, beautiful day. <laughs> Jessica rolling her eyes saying, nope, I ain't telling. N Y. What is that? No way. That's N-W. Idiot. <laughs> New York. You cannot look at this kid You're and say welcome. he's 12 years old. No. Absolutely not. Well, it, it was the 90s and no one gave a rat's ass. I'm gonna meet my new mother. Yes, ma'am. We are. I mean, I hope she shows up, but yes, we are. <laughs> mm, great table, wow. Table with a view of the Empire State Building? Mm -hmm. I'd have anxiety too if my son just hopped on a plane to New York like nothing. Money, 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 Why do Sicilians get so mad? <laughs> it's alright, Jonah. It's alright, fam. We'll see her soon, I promise. Oh, he could be on top of the Empire. Oh, of she told now. him everything. Walter, I don't deserve you. Nah, I wouldn't put it that way. <laughs> Okay. Oh, uh, he is definitely heartbroken. He gonna cry in the car. Uh, yep. You gotta go. You gotta go. I'm sorry. Aww. What, what, what I, I think I'm about to tear up. <laughs> you are my family. Oh, she's running. Oh, she's running. Well, she's jogging, but yes. 
supposed to meet. He's probably not there, but if I don't at least look, I'll always wonder about it. Cary Grant, right? You know that. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to have a dog? Not really. I think I'd rather have a mom. Wait. Jonah didn't have his backpack. Yep, Seattle. It's Howard. I left her by the telescope. <laughs> yep. Yep. It's happening. It's happening. <sighs> Who's this? <laughs> it's Howard. Howard. Hello, Howard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's nice to meet you. Smile that cheers you. Oh, and he's smiling all the way down. <laughs> wow. All right, well. <sighs> Let's go ahead and uh, pause this and uh, talk about it. So that was Sleepless in Seattle from 1993. What a gorgeous, gorgeous movie. Like, honestly, guys, I'm so glad I got to see this. So I, I'm going to make this review short because I want to tell you guys a little story after this. But um, five out of five stars, obviously. Can't go wrong with Tom Hanks. And you know how I feel about Meg Ryan. <laughs> That woman is gorgeous. That woman can get it. She's just, ah, woman of my dreams. <laughs> All right, now let's get into the storyline. Um, so I had that moment where they were talking about love at first sight. And I wasn't a believer of that until I was 19. I went to this show that my friend was like performing in, in the orchestra. He was performing in the trumpet section. And uh, it was a local theater, uh, of course, in my hometown. And as it turns out, I go to see the show. I go to see it just for him. As soon as a lovely young lady appears on the stage and um, kind of stole my heart away, I instantly had a connection to this girl as soon as I saw her on the stage. And I told my friend I'm going to watch it a second time just to go see her. Sorry, you did great, fam, but I'm going to go see it because of her. And I did. And um, six years later, I got to perform with her for the first time in a production. I was the lead, one of the lead characters in that production, and she was like a supporting character. And I think I was technically a supporting character as well. Yeah, I fell pretty hard. I fell pretty hard. And I hope to meet her again someday. I hope to see her again and hopefully work things out because that's how things work, you know? You, 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 you know, you set aside people at for for a little while and if they come back to you which i hope she does someday we can work things out and just talk about it even if we just remain friends i'm gonna be happy that we've kept connection because she deserves nothing but the best i'm just gonna end it here um if you really enjoyed this review if you really enjoyed this video and you like what i'm putting out please consider subscribing please hit that like button hit that notification bell for future content and I will 100% see you guys in the next one. This is Gio signing out. Catch you later.